My name is Emerson Parks, and the time I say just get motivated. <laughs> According to Statistic Brain, 36% of high school students will drop out in the ninth grade. That is about eight kids in a class of 22. Based on a 2006 survey done by Bridgeland, Dulio, and Morrison, 70% of high school dropouts said they were unmotivated. Student motivation starts to decline after elementary school. What is the reason, you ask? The reason is that we no longer have as much of a say in our learning. Due to this lack of control, students are becoming less interested, which leads to less motivation. According to a paper written by McKeeva Callahan, three forms of motivation that interested me were to vary teaching styles, give students options, and to make lessons relevant. The traditional form of teaching, which involves a teacher lecturing while the students sit and listen, should be a thing of the past. With constant advances in technology, my generation is exposed to several different learning methods and has access to several types of resources. Although lecturing is necessary in some cases, learning can be improved by allowing kids to apply what is being taught in an educational yet fun manner. The website Boomwriter is a great example of a fun activity that can be mixed with learning. Boomwriter will turn any writing project into a book for under $10 a copy. So, students could contribute to the book through poems, creative stories, or the whole class could write a story and each student would write their own chapter. Also, this project would not only be a fun activity, but would also be a great learning opportunity. Furthermore, blogs, educational apps, having discussion groups, and Skyping with other students who are learning similar topics are all good ways for teachers to vary their teaching styles. Student autonomy is another way that teachers can motivate their students. By giving students a choice, they are more excited and focused on the work that they are doing. Although it is not reasonable to allow students total control over the classroom, students should still be open to listening and using their suggestions. This creates a more balanced classroom environment because both sides are working together to reach a common goal. There are many ways that teachers can implement their students' preferences. They can have a discussion with the class or create a written survey to find out the students' likes and dislikes, what they hope to learn in the class, and so on would be beneficial. In addition, allowing students to choose what their own topics for assignments or which partner they will work with, use their devices, and give the students several ways to complete an assignment will make them feel like they have some control and will keep them on task. Finally, what would motivate me most is by how understanding how what we are learning can be applied in the real world. By doing this, we would have a better understanding of how we can apply what is being taught to a career that we might not have considered. For example, according to work.coron.com, animators use linear algebra to show the way an object is rotated, shifted, and resized. So if an animator were to speak with their class about the different types of math that they use in their jobs, then it may increase interest in the subject because it would show the class a cool way that algebra can be used. Teachers may feel like they don't have the time to contact these speakers. However, they could give students the opportunity to contact guest speakers and earn extra credit in the process. Also, students will learn other skills by doing this, such as research and communication. If teachers and students work together, this partnership will allow students to become more engaged and have more control over their learning. By using methods like varying teaching styles, student autonomy, and real-world application, this will help motivate students and could improve their performance in school. If a student is motivated in school, then that will transfer over to their future job. This will lead to them becoming a productive member of society.